Here's what you need to know. The creators of Space Quest, Scott Murphy and Mark Crow, have made a Kickstarter project for this game called Two Guys Space Venture. Uh, it's not, it doesn't exist yet, but what they're doing is collecting funding, and they need $5,000, $500,000 to make the game. They've got three, uh, 300, 5, 000, bleh, 350000 pledged already. So you can help this game happen by pledging money, and the game is by the original actual creators of Space Quest, so, and it's another, it's an adventure game, it's an original intellectual property, but uh, it's got lots of references in there to Space Quest, and if you don't remember Space Quest, it was an old DOS, um, actually it might have been, was it before DOS? I don't know. Um, it's an old adventure game from... You know, the olden days, like, before I was born, I do believe, but, uh, great stuff. They, um, the, it's backed by one of the founders of Sierra, which made all of those awesome adventure games back in the day. And we're gonna test it out. They got a thingy here, a prototype. Welcome to the Installation Wizard for Space Adventure. Oh crap, we're back in DOS. This is not good, guys. Oh, well. I'm kind of disappointed there's no floppy disk loading sound there, but this is just a prototype, though they called it a living concept art phase. Phase 3. There were two other earlier prototypes, and this is the newest one. An interesting fact, it's all on HTML5, apparently, so the game will be available on Android, on iPad, and all of the desktop operating systems. And the prototype is available now, I think, on... You can even play it on iPad. Your invisible ship docks. In fact, it's so smooth, it's like it's not there. Looking around, you notice an odd sensation, as if this part of the galaxy is not quite finished. Most interesting. Should have read that in Spock's voice. Anyway. Let's just examine this airlock here. Oh, goodness. Two seconds in the game and we're dead. But you gotta be able to die two seconds in the game, otherwise it wouldn't be a Sierra game. Well, it's not a Sierra game, but... Space Quest thingy. Unbelievable, you're going to die already. Now your friends are all going to point and laugh. The only word that comes to mind now is, Mommy! Please note that we... That we put in an automatic airlock system to keep you just... Just to keep this from happening, but no. You managed to defeat it. Well, time for your death description. Hooray! There will be deaths and humorous death descriptions. I suspect there'll be a large portion of what this game is, considering it's about the Space Quest guys. It's probably going to be like half of the game. With non-existent pressure outside your body and blood, along with every other contained fluid, your body begins to boil as gases struggle to gain freedom from their liquid confines. Man, this is a headache you're never going to forget if you're going to live long enough to remember it. You're fortunate this death is such a quick one. You're now meteor, meteor meat. Enjoy eternity. I will! Fun times. Wow, it's been a long time since we've been able to kill someone. At least that anyone knows about. Well, this has been nostalgic. Thanks. We know you can always count on you for entertainment. Have a happy non-life. If you'd never played Space Quest, that was a big part of the gameplay, was you dying and having humorous descriptions of your own death. The startup is a little slow because it's just a prototype. But uh, it's a pretty brief prototype, but it's just sort of to show it off. And uh, once their pledge hits, uh, once they get 400,000 pledged, they'll have a fourth prototype. And by the time they have 500, they'll start, you know, for realsies, making the game. Hmm, it's oddly warm in here. In fact, the air bears the faint essence of... What is that? Oh, locker room. Yuck. Fortunately, a waterfall nearby seems to be combating the semi-offensive aroma. That's just great. Let's look around at stuff. You can you can right click to change your action thingy. You got look, you got grab. You can't grab the wall, unfortunately. And you can walk. You can walk all over the place. Let's look at these. These are things. Cool. Dials and gauges. You like dials and gauges, don't you? Yeah you do. Let's touch those dials and gauges. Oddly, they do nothing, at least now. Maybe when the designers are less lazy, they'll perform a fairly sweet function. What is that on the ground? 
Is that what I think it is? It's a Buckazoid! Hell yeah, we're gonna get that. Expect lots of Space Quest references. You lean down and procure the coin from the carpet. It's been a while, but the feel of having a real, genuine, authentic Buckazoid makes your hand feel all insanely tingly -o. Is this thing made of aluminum? Is nothing in this place real? Probably not. Surprisingly, I feel remarkably like boulders. Oh yes, and expect lots and lots of sarcastic descriptions of all of the stupid actions you can perform, like grabbing water. The water feels remarkably like water falling from the rock formation. How odd. But yeah, if you ever enjoyed um, the Sierra adventure game stuff like King's Quest and uh, Space Quest, of course, I'm sure you'd enjoy this. What's this? Cluck Yeager. Cluck Yeager Arcade. A small label below the screen reads, designed by two guys from Andromeda, this time without enslavement. Looking at the screen more closely, it reveals that this thing isn't even turned on. In fact, it looks like the screen is actually just a plastic sheet with a stencil print on it. Excellent! Let's play the game. You jiggle the stick, but nothing happens. You know, they've got pills for that. You know, it's it's not the end of the world. It's a pretty effective glue. Try as you might, you can't pry these buttons off. Yeah, the game's fake. Let's touch it. it feels rubbery. Is this thing even real? Have you ever wondered why it's called a joystick? Whoever comes with that it must have had some screw loose, I tell you. It's a small slot, like an insert coin here. Seems like a strange place to put a slot. Seems almost like there's something on there as an afterthought. Let's put our Buckazoid in there. This will surely be the best game ever. You slide a Buckazoid to slot Martin's shirt coin. See, so the coin tumble down the cabinet's inner, it's just fine. To find that rather than turning itself on, the cabinet merely slides out the way, revealing a cave. Huh. The side note, if this project gets funded, I will play the entire game. So, that is a good other reason to fund the game. We'll sh I'll show you how you can fund later, but uh, it appears that not everything is here as, as it seems, which probably isn't that surprising, given that everything seems to have been produced in a factory. You briefly wonder if these domes can be ordered by mail before recounting a bad experience you had once. So they've got a whistle and robots. Those were the days. Lag! Pretty! Pretty lag. The waterfalls are a very pleasant sight and sound. Based on the aroma here, someone should stick a step under them. And take a shower, please. Let's see. Just break the fourth wall here. Excellent. Can you remove the tape? No, I can't steal the tape from outside of the universe. This isn't the first time I've tried to take tape outside of the universe. It's stiff and cool. The artist clearly hasn't been using it in a while. Slacker. He's probably having a beer. That stupid artist. You've probably seen one of these before. It's a stylus of some sort. Interesting. That's all we can look at outside. Oh wait! Excellent. That's very pink. But you wonder how it feels. It's rubbery. It squishes like your foot touch. Why can't we pick up things that don't exist in the fantasy land? My world is crashing around me right now. It's hard to describe, honestly. What's this? It's a metal panel. It's a slightly recessed metal panel. My mistake. Let's just walk on to this plant. I'm sure nothing evil will happen. What is that? It appears to be a... It appears to be a typo. A narrow synthetic rectangular card with an arrow on it. In fact, it looks like a key card. Oh, like that's a big surprise. These guys almost never made a game without a key card in it someplace. Why stop now? Wow, that is impressive. It's a pretty pink, soothing thingy. I'm sure it won't devour my flesh. I'm, I'm sure that won't happen. You are now the proud owner of a keycard. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Let's go ahead and just put this thing in here. Excellent! We hear a quiet sound beneath the pool. Hooray! It's a dude. Nope, I skipped a thing. I skipped another thing! Okay. Stop clicking panically. Just 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 don't do it. It's not a good idea. What's up, bro? Look at you. My eyes. Hmm, <laughs> he seems kinda of familiar. His beard makes him look wise and intriguing. I 
guy looks very familiar, but you don't forget someone with that for a nose. Likewise, he has dimples and smooth facial skin. Baby's butt. Look at all that space. There's literally almost nothing there. A pleasant looking patch of what appears to be ferns and palm trees. I don't know what they're called since we never see them in space. Regardless, they look as phony as rock, the rock walls. Cheap skates. It's probably a velvet Elvis painting in some of your day. Can't talk today. My budget for talking has gone up. I can't see the sand! I'm sand blind, guys. This is a problem. This is a big problem. When I touch you. Oh dear. I don't want to. I can touch the sand. I can't touch the sand either. I can't see or touch sand. This is this is of great concern. Crud X plant emulsion. For all your emulting needs. What's up, guys? How's it going? Yes, you recognize them. It's Mark Crow and Scott Murphy, the legendary, as well as charismatic, funny, brilliant, and stunningly handsome game designer duo. You vaguely remember a piece in Game of Sutra about them trying to get filthy rich through some Kickstarter campaign. So far, so good, it would appear. Well, except for the heavy use of crud X around here. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. You greet them in an anxious, high-pitched tone, which reminds you of puberty. You're... Yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah. We're aware of who we are. We've been us for a long time, says Scott, rudely, interrupting you. Hey, it's been near three minutes since we ordered those drinks. And while you're at it, my hover chair could use some squeegee action. Wait, that's a different guy. Oh, well. You have the same voice now. I said so. So, you're just gonna stand there and make yourself useful. Hey, hey, hey. Mark turns to Scott. Where's Roger when you need him? Expect references, but I doubt you'll get Roger Wilco in this one. Turning back to you, Mark says. Really? Why are you self so sad in here? Go back to the Kickstarter campaign and help us get to $400,000. Move along there, little Earth Man. And we thought Roger was a loser, says Scott. Mark, have you seen my snout block? I don't want to look weird in the spread we're doing for Galactoria. That, that sounds like a horrible disease. And this is their web page thing for their product thingy. And this is Roberta Williams, creator of the King's Quest series and other stuff. And so basically they have the support of people. Like the founder of Sierra. So go give them money right now. See, the sign says you have to give them money. And the alt text says that we love her. So you know what to do. Or maybe you don't. Because you're dumb. If you don't know what to do, you can go to the Kickstarter page and you can give them money. Your minimum is one dollar, but they have all of these rewards. Like if you get pledge fifteen bucks, you get a free DRM free version of the game, and you get some HD wallpapers, some dev diaries, you pledge more money, you get digital soundtrack. There's like a whole ton of reward tiers. Like I think one of the reward tiers is that you get more reward tiers. That's how many reward tiers there are like 18 billion and some of them have like real buckazoid coins which is pretty awesome I think where's the what's the cheapest one with a buckazoid coin ah if you pledge 125 bucks you get a gold buckazoid or a bronze buckazoid if you pledge crazy amounts of money you can get a gold and silver buckazoid too but yeah you can check out the reward tiers on this stuff um the thing about Kickstarter, you can pledge with, um, I used PayPal, I don't know what all pledging options they have, but they they don't take your money until the pledge actually reaches its goal. Um, so if for some reason the project doesn't get funded, you don't actually lose out any money, so there's no risk to you. You just gotta say, I'm willing to pay this if it reaches its goal. So if you're worried the project doesn't make it, that doesn't matter to you, just, you know, if you want to support it, go ahead, and I strongly suggest you do. Um, you can read all their promotional material here. Um, I suggest go ahead and, you know, if you want this to happen, you should really share. Um, you can share the Kickstarter page on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Um, since you're all gamers, I'm sure some of you have some friends that love Space Quest, or maybe you love Space Quest. And 
Like I said, if it make, meets its goal and they make this game, I'm definitely doing a full Let's Play of it, so that's my contribution as well, in addition to my backing of it. So, uh, go help us make this happen.